So hi, I'm Siddharth Kumar Bhopal. I'm from Tiruvananthapuram in the state of Kerala. I am now currently studying in class 10 and I'm selected to represent India for the International Olympiad in Astronomy and Astrophysics for Juniors. Uh, Narayana helped me from the start, from the first level of the exam, which was NSEJS, and continuing on to the second level, INJSO, as well as the OCSC, uh, where an expert came and taught us astronomy. Uh, this very much helped me because it is very hard to cover the entirety of astronomy and astrophysics in 19 to 20 days. So this helped me get a clear advantage over my peers in the OCSC and the practice problems that they gave us helped me to attempt the exams and questions with a clear mind and with focus. Uh, for me, the uh, practicals were a little more uh, tough and scary because uh, well, it's the night sky and there are thousands of stars and we are usually asked to point out a single star. So it will be very hard to locate and actually find it on the telescope. So I was uh, very much scared for the practical part, but thankful, thankfully to God, uh, thanks to God, it all turned out really well and so I'm happy. Uh, well, I would say that uh, hard work is the most important part especially not just uh, working hard for like one day or two day, but continuous hard work throughout the journey from start to finish. Also, whenever you en enter the exam hall, always attempt the questions with a clear mind, read the full question and absorb as much points as possible. And finally, I'd always like to uh, quote a saying that one of the sirs of the OCC camp said, success is not final and failure is not fatal. If you're faced with a failure, you should learn that there are many other exams and many other competitions and you should aspire for them and if you get success you should know this is just a milestone not the end point this is just a part of the journey and continue to work hard for future examinations what kept me motivated throughout was the hard work that my family as well as my teachers did uh, i always used to ask myself if my parents and my teachers can work so hard so that i can get a good rank or a good uh, selection to the Indian team, why, can, why can't I also work hard and achieve it? And that is what motivated me throughout. The fact that my parents, my school, my principal, all my class teachers were behind me and they were working and praying for me to succeed. That is what kept me going throughout this long journey. Uh, well, I'm actually a lot excited and nervous also because it's an international competition but the best in the world uh, come to compete in one stage. But I'm also very excited that this will be my first International Olympiad and I get to meet people from various different countries from all over the globe. So I'm very excited for that cultural interaction and also the questions that will come, they will be different from what I faced earlier because it's an International Olympiad. So I'm excited for both the cultural as well as the learning experience. And of course, I'm super proud and happy to represent India at such an international stage especially uh, that I have actually brought results to the work that was done by me and mostly my teachers at Narayana and at my school who have wished me well, as well as my parents and my siblings. Hi, uh, I'm Mandana. I'm Siddharth's mom and we are from the state of Kerala. Uh, so uh, Siddharth has always been a good student consistently. He is also the recipient of the Pradhan Mantri Dashri Bal Puraskar 2020 in the field of scholastics. And at that point in time, our Honorable Prime Minister in a speech to the children had said that it is for your future that this award is being given to you. And that has served as a further motivation for him to work hard. We have done our share of supporting him, providing him with uh, support of good teachers like those from Narayana. And that has helped motivate him further. And yeah, we just play a supporting role when it comes to encouraging him. Actually, my husband is a doctor. We also have our own hospital back in Kerala. So there's always this focus that, you know, why don't you become a doctor from people around? But both of us, my husband and myself, we believe that we should encourage the child to pursue their own passions because we have also done the same for ourselves. And currently, Siddharth says he wants to become an investment banker. So. God knows where he will go next and where his aspirations would change into something else. But currently his focus is on finance and investment banking and those kind of areas. So that's where his focus is. And obviously all what I tell him is whatever you take up in life, 
focus on giving it your best and excelling in it like siddharth also mentioned it's a long journey uh, comprising of multiple sets of exams and uh, by god's grace he has reached up till the level to represent india and narana and the teachers here have been with us throughout the journey so it's not just in the classroom even after that in terms of guiding us on what areas to focus on academically which exams to focus on what to do right so because time for the students is limited so to utilize that time appropriately to keep them motivated throughout the journey because what is needed is not is consistent hard work and how can we help him so starting from which textbooks to follow how to study study patterns study patterns and even sleep patterns <laughs> we get advice on you know across board the child's overall development and yeah extremely grateful to all the faculty of narayana for that for going beyond just the classroom right so they treat the child as a child and take care of the child which is what we are very happy about so uh see in our careers today what we are seeing is a sea change right earlier uh sciences would be separate from the liberal arts and even within the sciences there's a differentiation between bio maths etc today the fields are getting more and more integrated so even if it is astronomy even if it is biology a lot of technology is coming into all of these fields and there is a mix and match of fields and you don't know where these fields integrate for example a lot of investment banking careers today come from quantum physics uh, so there is a mix and match of careers there are various combinations of careers that maybe our generation cannot even fathom which our kids will follow 20 30 years down the line so let's see what the future holds for them